Hi, I'm Dr. Abby Callis. I'm the Director of Quality and Outcomes at Family Service and Guidance Center. And I wanted to take a few minutes to talk with you today about how uh, you can respond to or talk with your children about the coronavirus, COVID-19. And we'll uh, talk a little bit about how best to do that with young people in our, in our lives. So first and foremost, I wanted to talk some about uh, the fact that we should do our best to limit the amount of time a young person spends on news or social media about COVID-19 or the coronavirus, because we're not always certain that the resources that they are using are reputable resources with accurate information. So we want to limit the amount of time that they spent sort of inundated with all of this knowledge that might not be accurate information. So that being said, when we go to talk to a young person about the coronavirus or COVID-19, we ourselves need to make sure that we are using reputable resources. So we should be looking at gaining information from places like the CDC or KDHE or Shawnee County Government's webpage, um, and those resources will have the correct information that we can use to talk to young people about this virus. Uh, given the fact that they're all out of school, they're very aware that something uh, is going on in their world, and we can take this time to really educate them about this virus and what it means and how they should respond to it. So things like good hand washing, covering your mouth when you cough or you sneeze, um, staying away from people who might uh, already be infected with the virus who are coughing and sneezing. Uh, the CDC has uh, put out really good information about how we should respond uh, to potential cases of the coronavirus. Uh, and it's important to remember that there currently are no identified cases of the coronavirus in Shawnee County. So we wanna make sure that young people are receiving that information accurately. So go to those types of websites when you uh, decide that you'd like to talk to your, uh, the young person that you care about about this, uh, this disorder. Um, additionally, we want to talk some about monitoring our own reactions and staying as calm as possible in the event that we decide to provide some education for a young person about the coronavirus. They will uh, recognize our level of calm and it will help them remain calm. So informing ourselves using, again, the appropriate resources like the CDC so that we're aware of uh, what, what, what's really true about the coronavirus can help when you are trying to talk to a young person about what's really true about the coronavirus. Coronavirus. Um, additionally, this uh, brings up the point of really good self-care. Um, so this is a trying time. I know everyone is nervous uh, about this. And the more that we can take care of ourselves, take care of those around us, and uh, remain calm, the more children will be aware that they should also remain calm, that this is okay, and that the adults in their lives are doing what needs to be done to, to take care of them and everyone else that they care about. Now, that being said, um, if you feel like you need some additional assistance or additional help with this process, Family Service and Guidance Center is still uh, working with young people in our community. You're always welcome to call our phone number at 785-232-5005. For young people who have access to a smart device um, who need some additional support, they can look at downloading the Seven Cups app, which is uh, sponsored here in Shawnee County for young people uh, under the age of 17, 13 to 17, and the code for that is TALK, T-A-L-K and that could be a resource for them to discuss feeling anxious or nervous and upset about the coronavirus. Thank you for your time.